part of walking this journey, one of my most popular blog posts is Enough's and Everything's. I think that's an important, it's important for you to have in your head what your limit is. How long are you gonna try for? How much money do you have? And how many losses can you endure? You are absolutely allowed to change your mind. We did. We only thought we had one. But then we lost the two babies and we couldn't imagine not trying it again. So you figure out a way. But I don't think that you're enough in everything can necessarily be until you have a happy, healthy baby in your arms, because before you know it, you've been destroyed by the journey. So talk about your enoughs and everythings. What is that? Be honest with one another. Is it that you don't wanna do IVF? That IUI is plenty for you, because that's okay. It's your journey. You also have to remember, too, that your enough and everything doesn't need to be explained to anyone except to each other. You don't need to explain it to your mother-in-law, and you don't need to explain it to the stranger sitting next to you at church that wants to know why you're not adopting. You don't owe anybody but each other reasons why. Another piece of this is um, I get really tripped up on our numbers. Um, if you go to my blog, you will see that I've removed my numbers from my bio. I think in the infertility journey, especially in social media, you will click on people's accounts and their bio is full of numbers. Four IUIs, five IBS, nine BFNs. The acronyms are enough to make your head spin. And all of a sudden, they're no longer the, the sister or the daughter or the therapist or the person who loves to garden. They are only their losses and how many treatments they have done. What I think is, besides losing your identity to this, what I think is the harm in becoming your numbers is that it breeds comparison. Because there may be many of you in here that were able to do four rounds, and I only could do two. Does that make my losses less than yours? Because hard is just hard, and struggle is struggle. And when we stop comparing our hards and our struggle, then we aren't so alone in it. That was a concept that I actually was able to come up with with one of my clients. Um, loss is loss is one of my most popular HuffPost pieces. Um, I had a client who lost her 17-year-old daughter in a tragic accident. And she had read my book, and she looked at me and she said, is it better that I got 17 years with mine, or that you never got to meet yours? And I looked at her and I said, what if instead we just looked at one another like mothers who lost their children? Because then we aren't so alone in it. <coughs> Getting caught up in this journey in your numbers breeds comparison, and comparison will make you feel alone. <coughs> and we already feel alone enough when we can't have babies easily. Stay away from the numbers.